What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and there is a lot of hype for Battlefield 2042 after that big reveal trailer that premiered the other day with a lot of people making comparisons to the marketing for this game vice the last disaster with Battlefield 5 and one of the most refreshing things that we've seen from this entire thing was when the devs came out and said very clearly that this game is all about having fun, it's all about the multiplayer experience and there is no type of political narrative even when pressed by the game's journalists. Take a look at this headline. Battlefield 2042 dev claims games climate change and refugee crisis themes to be used solely for gameplay reasons, not political commentary. And of course, that immediately made some games journalists very upset because they want everything to be political. They want everything to be about identity politics. That's what they want in their games, despite the fact that all the fans, all the consumers want nothing to do with it. Take a look at this story from Bounding into Comics. Following the game's recent reveal, Battle 20, Battlefield 2042 design director Daniel Berlin Lynn has asserted the game's title, the title's themes of climate change and a worldwide refugee crisis exist solely for gameplay reasons and are not intended to be taken as any sort of political or social commentary. As described by publisher EA in their 9th of June press release announcing the game, the upcoming entry in the Battlefield franchise will see the world in the midst of a global crisis as rising sea levels and shortages of food, energy, and clean water have led to dozens of failed nations with, a, with the greatest refugee crisis in human history. Now, there are a lot of ways that you can take that, especially if there were going to be a campaign in this game. One, there is not going to be a campaign. At least they have, they've said very strictly that there will not be a campaign. It will be completely focused on multiplayer. But with that being said, you can still do things to write this narrative, to tell some kind of political allegory if you wanted to. But they have made it clear that's not what they are doing. Among these non-patriated or not no pats are families, farmers, engineers, even soldiers, explains the game's official website. Amidst the crisis, the United States and Russia draw the world into an all-out war. No pat specialists join both sides, not fighting for a flag, but for the future of the non-patriated in this new world. And of course, this led... This led to this article. On IGN, of course, Battlefield 2042 dev says climate apocalypse is for gameplay reasons, not social commentary. And we're going to get to the dev's actual words that made this guy so fucking angry. But he, when he watched, he said, I don't know how you can make a game and not make it political. It has to be political. Listen to what he says. As I watched the reveal, it became impossible to ignore how many of 2042's themes are borrowing from explicit storylines we're concurrently living through. The climate displacement era is already upon us. Tensions between global sovereignties are growing, and it's no longer difficult to imagine lower Manhattan where water comes up to your knees. Is it? Is it really? Because uh, we've been being told that for literally fucking decades. We've been told about Antarctica, the polar ice cats, for fucking decades. Somehow, we're still all here. DICE is presenting a stark, brutal interpretation of the Earth in the very near future where our ecological systems are pushed past the brink by unsustainable power structures. It's foreboding, highly plausible dystopia that renders Battlefield 2042 into a political object whether the company wants to admit it or not. The reason he's writing this is because he didn't get the answer that he wanted from the game director. We have the quotes right here. Uh, design director Daniel Berman demurred at my line of questioning when I interviewed him. IGN. Battlefield 2042 is talking about depatriated people. We're talking about citizens who've been displaced by climate change and war. Is there any sort of sensitivity towards those issues for you guys? Is there any social commentary anywhere with what you're trying to do? Or is this purely just a multiplayer game? Berlin, it's definitely purely a multiplayer game for us. The reason we decided to go down this route is so we could create a narrative with the world that we could create through the eyes of the NOPATs, the in-universe term for refugee warriors. We wanted to get more spectacle in there and more massive events happening. The setting fits perfectly, it fits the scale, and gives us reasons to go all over the world. It's for gameplay reasons across the board. So they wanted to create something that was literally a global problem so they could go all over the world with these maps. They wanted it to make it so that you could choose to fight for either side. They wanted to do all these things. They wanted to have natural disasters occurring in the game so you could see the destruction. That is why they decided to go with this climate change narrative. Not a political allegory, not trying to tell anyone anything, not trying to preach anything. They are saying it's simply for gameplay purposes. And that is not okay with a games journalist. 
I doubt Berlin truly believes this answer. He coexists on the Earth with the rest of us, and the team at DICE is clearly familiar with the prognostic source material they're drawing from. So he's saying he can't believe it. He lives in this world with the rest of us. How could he not believe what he's saying? The bottom line is that what they are trying to say, what they are telling us is that we want to give people a game for fun that they want to enjoy. We don't want to preach to them. We don't want to do any of this political nonsense. We just want to make a game. Hopefully, they've learned their lesson because Battlefield 5, it was the opposite. Battlefield 5, they did get political. They did try to do these things and draw these current day examples. And they told their people, if you don't like it, then don't buy it. It didn't work out very well because nobody fucking bought it. Hopefully, this is a change where they're coming from. Hopefully, this will not happen again. Hopefully, he's being honest when he says that there is no political commentary. It's truly just a multiplayer game. Uh, I think we all hope that. We're all hoping good things for Battlefield 2042, but I guess we'll see in time. What do you think about them coming out and saying it's not political? It's just a multiplayer game and about the games journalists getting triggered. Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.